Oh well, uh, the NMA position is clear, and that has been well put in place by the national NMA. And uh, the fact is clear too that we don't need the Chinese uh, expatriates here. Uh, we currently have uh, over 250 uh, positive uh, uh, patients to COVID-19, and uh, so far we have not. Uh, informed the government that we are overwhelmed. However, yes, we have continued to ask the government of our need to provide the protective equipment. Uh, donation from uh, other foreign countries is acceptable. However, we don't need the manpower. We are yet to even use 1% uh, of our manpower. The uh, patients at the IDH in Yaba uh, being attended to by doctors that are working here, but we have 27 hospitals in Lagos. And the same is what is happening in Abuja and other centers that have this uh, COVID 19 patient. Most of the doctors are still available to support when there is need, and they are working in all those general hospitals. Uh, uh, if you're talking about experience of the Chinese people, we have had a treatment that has been working for our people. So far, all the death that we have had have been people that are refused working for our people. So far, all the death that we have had have been people that are refused treatment or refused isolation. So the reality is that whatever we're doing currently at our isolation center is working and we're having a result. And indeed, the WHO has commended us for that. So uh, this attitude of government only shows why the health system has been failing because if you don't listen to the experts to make decisions, then you make wrong decisions. Uh, it surprised me when the uh, Honorable Minister continued to mention NME, as if he's not a member of NME. He is a member of NME, he's there because he's a doctor. If today he's suspended, he will not remain as a Minister of Health because he's there representing us as a doctor. And we think he should have a better respect for his. Uh, um, uh, uh, his, colleagues. his colleagues and the reality is and we still state it just like enemy has stated we don't need the expertise of the Chinese to handle the COVID-19 as it stands today well we, we have a responsibility to the public and uh, we will not take the irresponsibility of the government to affect the public however that final answer is left to the National Executive Council uh, we, in considering whatever we are doing, consider our patient as a priority. And also the safety and welfare of our colleagues is also paramount. Whatever technology the Chinese people have, our technology are being used. But it may not be wrong if they may actually take government to court on this. The CECCEC has no right over the inhabitants of Nigeria. The, Responsibility of the health of the people that live in this country lies in the hands of the doctors here, well represented by enemy. So it will be an insult, or it is an insult on us for government to bring some exercise against our uh, will uh, to come and run uh, the health system in this country. If the Chinese people feel that we're not uh, attending to them well, they can as well just take away their uh, workers and bring them back after COVID-19 uh, pandemic is over. We don't need their expertise for now. However, if we need it, then we will request for it. NMA has not requested for it. MDCN has not requested for it. The politicization of our health uh, system is what has been pushing us backward. Government should use this opportunity to improve the health system and also the welfare of the health care provider. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Hussein.